This is from China's math competition on logarithm. Here, we are given this. We try to evaluate log base a of 3a. Try to solve the problem. Now, we're going to review some of the fundamentals, but feel free to skip to the solution if you already know the content. Logarithm is the inverse operation of exponentiation. That is, if you have b raised to the x power equal to n, then x would be the logarithm base b of n. So notice that the base is always a positive number. Now the logarithm of n to the base b is the exponent to which b must be raised to obtain n. So in mathematical language, it would be this identity here. It's very useful. That's by the definition of the logarithm. For example, we say to the third power equal to 8, but what's two's power would give 7? The answer would be log base 2 of 7. Right? This quantity is slightly smaller than 3. Some example of logarithm by definition, what is the value of here? You know that 2 raised to the third power is 8, so that's equal to 3. How about that? 10 raised to what power? Mm, second power, so that's 2. How about this? 5 raised to third power, that would be 3. right? So notice that the value could be a negative or fractional value. It really depends on the base and the number being evaluated. For example, in this case, 2 raised to what power produce 0 0.5? Negative 1. How about 10 raised to what power produce 0, 0, 1? That would be negative 2. And in this case, notice that 1 from 9 is 3 raised to negative 2's power. The answer is also negative 2. Okay. And other properties of this function, the log of the base equal to 1. And this by definition, earlier we know that. And here, the logarithm of 1 equals 0 because a to the 0's power is 1. It's also a useful property here. And some other property is that the product will become the sum of log. And the division will become the difference here, the minus here. And the power is going to be r times this. And another very useful fact is change of base. So this allows us to evaluate any logarithm with some known base. For example, if we have base 10 or base e natural log. So let's go back to the problem we have. Here can be solved using the property we just reviewed. So from this equation, what we can do, because we're going to, we're interested in log base a, let's talk log on both sides. And here a raised to the s power with base a that becomes the whole expression becomes a on the left hand side if you take a log this exponent becomes the product here it's 8a times the logarithm of 9a so we have this now the property that 9 the product becomes the addition here and log a of a is equal to 1 and then you can cancel a here right on both sides divide by 8 so it's become 1 and 8 and you can solve this this value here is negative 7 over 16. So the quantity that we're looking for is based on is 9 over 16. Here we use the product property, right? The product becomes addition here. And then 9 over 16 is the solution. So we're going to review some uh, similar problems in a series of videos that are based on the common properties that we just reviewed. Hope you like the video. Please share and subscribe to the channel.